Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to dig into what is AMAX and how to launch the ZF8 normally and on the upswing. Let's get into it. For spirited driving or drag racing, our ZF8 has AMAX mode built into them. So this is our version of sort of a launch control. So a normal shift derates the engine by telling the ECU to pull timing. It does this to prevent free revving and to lower the torque to make the shifting easier. AMAX doesn't work like that. When in this mode, the TCU keeps the beans on the entire time. The upshot is this, the upshot of this is there's no derate, the engine's making full power the entire time and it's transmitting that to the ground even during the shift. AMAX can be engaged after everything's up to temperature, engine and transmission in dynamic sport mode, traction control off, steering wheel straight, so and then foot on the brake hard and pushed on the gas until the RPM stop coming up. Then pop your foot off the brake pedal and floor it. So a word of caution, try not to sit there loaded up with, for very long. The torque converter won't be very happy with you. But if you've engaged at AMAX mode, your shifts will be harder and your car will do is feel like a little jump every time it shifts. And the shifts will be much faster than normally too. So after more power modifications for your 3.0T, you'll notice your RPMs are lower than before when you launch. This is because you're making more torque than before, so time to get your tuner to up the stall back up to around you know, 28, 3000 RPM. You'll have to find the limit of your tires and the RPM should be set right around before your tires will be spinning. The next thing you'll notice is it might be harder to launch by bringing up the RPM, letting it settle, then off you go. So this is what myself and my friend Shane Horning, the world record A6 found. We had to start using the upswing method. Upswing just means that now instead of seeing the RPM settle at that like 2800 RPM, you'll be as hard as you can on the brake and floor the gas pedal. Now this is all gonna happen <laughs> very quickly. And this is when the upswing happens. So as that tack needle comes screaming up, you have to time it so that when the needle goes past about 2400 RPM, your foot pops off the brake pedal. And by the time of your reaction time, your transmission starts rotating and the tires start moving, you should have landed around 3000 RPM. And if you've done it right, you won't have spun, you won't have over revved it, you won't have bogged, and you'll be off flying. So I said AMAX is for spirited driving as well. My transmission tuner, Juan Melendez, unlocked rolling AMAX mode for me. It's called rolling AMAX because AMAX is typically only available from a stop. So if I punch it anywhere from a roll, AMAX is engaged and the same jumps happen on the even faster shifts then. If you're doing competitive roll racing events, this is very valuable. So the stock software has a limit of AMAX launches, by the way. The transmission tuner will raise that to the max and you won't ever hit that limit ever. A disclaimer for you fellow 2012 C7 cars, the max is 255 for us. Because of how my TCU tune is done though, it'll launch like I'm still in AMAX mode, but rolling AMAX is no longer available because I've reached that 255 limit. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button, check out the other videos in the series. Hope you like this one. Stay tuned, peace.